Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Monster Energy Supercross 6. This is the second part of our career mode, it's time for round 2 of 3 of the futures of the career mode. So here we go then guys, I've already won the heat race so this time it's just the main event so waiting for the grids to drop and away we go. Oh it's a good start, better than good, it's a perfect start according to the game. Now last time in the first round I did use the helmet cam and we absolutely dominated by lapping the field twice. Now we are on the hardest difficulty in the game, but I do hope this time around it can be a bit more challenging. So we're still on board the gas gas. I haven't upgraded this bike in the slightest. Still the 250cc and it looks like we're pulling away. And already, I mentioned this in my review, the AI just aren't very competitive, but I will confess I do really like this track. It was the same in Supercross 5, part of the career mode, but I do like it. It's just one of the milestone created ones, and I quite like the design of this small track. But uh, also as well, I wanted to mention, I know you guys prefer to watch the third person perspective. Personally, as a player in Supercross 6, I kind of prefer the first person, but I have been spending more time with the third, just for you viewers at home. If you want to see first person gameplay, then of course, you can check out the first video. So. I haven't upgraded anything, still just rocking the standard gas gas bike, which uh, I do really love the look of. I've decided to create a 450 version of the gas gas as well, but really love this circuit. Good couple of jumps in here as well. Nice turns, I can really start using the rear brake. I think that's one area of Supercross 6 that I feel really strong in, and that is, of course, using the rear brake to effect. I think we've seen it once or twice in the previous one, but of course, from a helmet cam perspective, it's not quite as clear as it is from the third person and I've got to say I feel fantastic in this game compared to all the other Supercross games and even in MXGP I feel really confident in this one whether that's the AI being very weak and it's giving me a false satis uh, satisfaction maybe maybe not but I just feel really strong I was even able to go online a few days ago and uh, get be quite competitive, not enough to win anything, but we were competitive enough to finish in the top five in a full lobby. It was very enjoyable, actually. Although there were some uh, some aggressive players. I'm not really that aggressive when playing online, but uh, some people certainly are. But back to the action then. Eight, nine, soon to be ten seconds clear from the competition as I just made a mistake there. Going up the uh, bridge. I've noticed those bridge sections do tend to catch me off guard. It always seemed to get that one wrong, but. Still pushing quite strongly now, I'm making mistakes, got to get back to it and hopefully get into the uh, 40 second markers for the lap times. This is what we found to be in, oh look at the state of that going in the right hand side. It might be a drift but it certainly looks awkward, awkward and unorthodox. Say that too many times fast, awkward and unorthodox. <laughs> Managed it that time. But it's uh, yeah, a bit of a mistake from my behalf. I do think we'll probably end up lapping a couple of riders here. Not quite as small as the first track, so we might not be able to lap too many. But it's good to see that uh, we're not just absolutely dominating by like 50 seconds already. There's certainly a domination occurring here. But I'm keen to see what happens when we actually move to the 250 east or west. I'm yet to decide what I'm going to do, but for the futures part of uh, the MXGP, excuse me, Supercross career mode. There's a lot of different names and abbreviations for me to learn and get used to. But as far as... The season mode goes for Supercross 6. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to the 250. And even out of all the Supercross games, I'm, I'm really enjoying playing this one by myself, even without doing content. Now, most of the times when I do play these games, I tend to record something, but even just on my own, just spending a bit of time by myself, just playing and having fun, it's very, very enjoyable. But going over the bridge this time, that's a lot better, but oh, a bit of an awkward moment on the down pull, you know, the down part, the uh, decline of the jump. And back into the tabletop section, chucking the rear brake on there just to get the bike moving. So we now go over and do a couple of jumps there, trying to get used to all these jumps. I must confess, it is a, a very easy track to get used to. They, they do a great job with the beginner tracks here in Supercross 6, and these are just prime examples of how to tackle these very small, compact tracks. So here we go then. 30 seconds of this one remaining. So we should get two more laps in. I'm looking for a 40 second lap as we just at the last second, did a nice perfect whip there. Back over the hill once more, down into the decline of the jump. 
push backwards an analog stick just for a bit of the tabletop section and then another bit of the tabletop here so to the right underneath the bridge we could be looking promising to improve and as you can see the rides ahead of us they could get in the way and they're probably going to ruin our chance of getting a 40 second lap time but uh, we're still pushing as much as we can it's Hayden Broadby in second place with Thomas Wolf in third spot so across the line not quite a 40 second mark I think it was still a 41 plus but here on the final lap we're going to lap a couple of riders so not as uh, dominant as it was in the previous video but I still feel pretty confident I'm very much enjoying this and I do hope you guys are as well I would like to do more content on Supercross 6 I appreciate it's not the most popular content on the channel but if you are a fan be sure to let me know because of course uh, there's no point in me doing it if you don't want to see it so <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below so now to the right hand side we're just approaching Sword and Johnson gonna try and sneak up at the inside of a good couple of riders there blue flags should be issued but they aren't this time someone's gone down and across the line it's not an improvement but that is another solid victory so that's another 26 points in the bag for us so guys thank you very much for watching the video i do hope you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more monster energy supercross 6 be sure to let me know in the comment section thanks for watching don't forget to like consider leaving uh, a subscription and even consider joining the membership but upon that note guys i'll see you in the next one ciao for now oh hi didn't quite see you there Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.